everybody, Billy from Mutation Creation. Today's video, we're gonna do an update on a clutch and we're gonna cut a clutch. So, um, first I wanna give a huge shout out, fellow Canadian, KB Reptiles. Carry and Barrels. Slacking on the back, end, are they? Kind of. What do they got? It's got a KB by the, the top. It's, a, it's Canadian, it's the Canadian way of not slacking. I guess so. <laughs> Carry and barrels, man. Put the, you know, this, that, distributor of coco, uh, um, Replicate. rep the chip, coconut husk. You know, you gotta put all that stuff and how to reach people. I know that's what I gotta do. We gotta reach out and put stuff on the back. People put stuff on their shoulders. It's nuts. So, yeah, we're gonna be walking advertisement soon, you know? Billboards. So, yeah, so carry and barrels here, Canadian, Ontario. Um, you know, they're uh, reps for, rep, like I said, rep the chip. Well, what Austin, you know, did. rep the chip coconut husk. So reach out to them. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Whew. This was that clutch. Orange dream, yellow belly, het pied possible ghost to an orange ghost pied. Proved out to be het ghost as well because we hit visual ghosts. So now the female turns out to be an orange dream, yellow belly, double het ghost pied. Bread to the ghost pied, six eggs. This is the one, hold on, hold on, one. This is the, the one that I got demolished. Like I got creamed, um, but I got creamed in a good way because Austin pulled out all the, the gold. So this is the, the gold and my, my, my boy. This is my, my new breeder boy. Once he gets the size, orange dream. I'm pretty, I'm pretty gonna say yellow belly. The way that orange is. Orange dream yellow belly ghost pied. Like just look at this. Orange dream yellow belly ghost pied. So amazing. Look at this. So nuts. Orange dream yellow belly ghost pied. Good going Austin. So sick. And then to compare. You take the OD away and then you have. Yellow belly goes pied. Okay, so you see how the orange and the OD really cleans up the oranges. It makes it really orange compared to just the, the yellow belly. And then you go with a regular. That's a male also, and this is just a regular pied. 100%. Het for ghost. And then here, that's a ghost. Orange tree. Maybe OD. Doesn't look too yellow belly. So maybe an OD ghost hat pied. And then here, ah, the heads. OD. Let me see the belly. That one looks just OD. Yeah, I'd say they... Yeah. No, i say they're both just OD. Mm -hmm. OD yellow belly tend to have a lot more flaming up the sides. And they will be 100% double hits. So really good odds. Austin and Team Austin crushed me, but... Wow, what an awesome, uh, awesome clutch. Super happy that the female proved out. I hit a couple males for the future. Super happy. So... Um, what we're gonna do here now is uh, I'll show you one of the females, the actual female that laid. Uh, she's in deep shed. Um, but back in 2014, I bought a collection, um, and on some of the labels, they had weirdo, weirdo one, weirdo two, weirdo ghost. I'm like, what? What's weirdo? And you know, like a lot of us, we hatch stuff out and things look sort of different and he just kept them back. Well, I raised them up um, and I bred something last year and then the eggs went bad because, you know, silly me wasn't prepared with the right uh, tubs. So we did it, we did it again this year and, uh, oh, sorry, in 18, my bad, of course, because I made one. So in 18, I bred them out and I had some weird sort of like uh, markers that the, the, the female had so I kept them back last year we tried eggs went bad so we did it again this year so we bred what we call a weirdo 
which um, is 50% het tri-stripe um, to, uh, and 50% het ghost to back to a weirdo. So this girl here, and why it's weirdo, if you look at the neck pattern, okay, look at that neck pattern. It's really stretched out. Alien heads bleed together. Just really weirdness, you know? And, and that's why they're 50% had tri-stripes because back in the day, everybody was looking at these weirdos and they were going, I think it could be het tri-stripe. So I, 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 at the time, I could only get my hands on a breeder het tri-stripe. So I bred that. Um, in 18, nothing came out tri-stripe at all. Um, I had a couple pairings. Um, sorry, a couple uh, females lay. Nothing, I think I hit uh, 13 animals. Nothing looked tri-stripe. So we labeled ones that looked like the mom, weirdo. 50% had tri-stripe and then 50% had ghost because the fairy, the, the male that I put to it was also a visual or a 100% hat ghost. So five eggs, okay? Four slugs, two no veins, one was wet. So that being said, she would have laid five, four, 10, 12 eggs. So 12 eggs, and see how these are small? Very small. One came out, it was like wet, it, it was like soaked. Two had no veins, four slugs, and then this is what we had left, but they were so small. Do you see how small they are? So we're gonna go ahead and cut them and see what goes on. Um, not really sure what we're expecting. I'm expecting some gold. I see a lot of mold. Maybe some supers? Maybe. I'm gonna just cut this, no race? I'll do a race. Oh my god, we'll do a race. How do we know what we're looking for? Whatever's the coolest. Oh my god. Sure, I guess I go first. Because yep. you went first yesterday. Okay, so I'm going to do this one here. And these are really weird. Some are really dimpled and some are hard. I'm not really sure what's going on. So, don't know what we're looking for. We probably won't be able to see it until the, the pattern, um, until the out of the egg, and we can actually look at the pattern. But unless something really crazy is going on, then. What is that? <laughs> Damn thing looks exantic. That's a weirdo for sure. See the neck on this side, it's, it's starting to... I don't know, Wait, I, I'm not gonna jump the conclusion, maybe. Oh, I see how this, yeah, I see yeah. what you're saying. Maybe not a super, but definitely a weirdo. Imagine that's, that's exantic. Well, I have a weirdo triple, I got, I don't even know. That's got a color up still though. Your shot. I'll go with this one because all the mold. Okay, man. See this? A little window? Yep. Whoa. I think that might be the super. I don't know. That's, but that's definitely that's, weird. Look at that. Look at that. That's like connected along the whole, both sides. Wow, man. That's crazy. Look at this thing. It's like tiger stripes. Holy cow. I don't know, man, but it is. It I is. Think cool. That might be a super, man. That's, I don't know. That's, that's insane. No Holy idea, man. Holy cow. I have no idea, but it definitely does not look like this one here. This one here has alien heads. This one here is like stripes, and everything's. I don't know, man. I mean, it could be cool. I, I have no idea. This is, like I said, a project that I bought in 14. Um, he hatched them out in 13. And uh, let's see what's going on. Let me try uh, Let me try this one here. Try a moldy one? Yeah. I think that one's going to do good. It's weird because these eggs came out really small. Look how small they are. They're so tiny. Like 54 but we grams. still put them in. We didn't even think because of all the slugs. And the two with no veins, and the one that came out wet, we were like, ah, you know, let's just put it in. Let's look the first one again. Yeah. Another weirdo. So, I'm gonna do this. Here we go. 
spread them out a bit. Let me get. Uh... Wait a second. What? It says five eggs. How are there six here? That's what I looked at too. Because maybe if I had four slugs, two no veins. Oh, maybe the one with one of the. Maybe the wet ones in Oh, there. no, no, because we threw that out because it was wet. Remember the one with two no veins? We usually keep them in and we threw one out. Oh, okay, so one of them actually made it. Yes. That's cool. Or low veins. I'll take this one. That's like some scaling pattern on the outside. What do you mean? Oh, wow, yeah, look at that. You can see the... What's that from? Probably because when maybe... This... Oh, you know what? This is probably the wet one. Oh. And then see how when she coiled it? Yeah, it's probably her scales. Got the scales. Maybe that's it. I'm not sure. Maybe that's it would make much. sense. But this one here is not really dimpled. This is going to be a little tough. Come on. This will be crazy. It looks like another just weirdo. I think that other one Or it could be non-weirdo. Like, you know, it could be a normal. We don't even know. Oh, they look pretty. Right, we're going to go back to that one that looks... Super? Yeah, we, we don't know, man. That's what's cool. I mean, they got to come out. And maybe we can, uh, you know, further expand on it with some of the stuff that we've held back from the last few years. They're both really... Let's try this. Wow! What the? Oh, no, it's a... Uh... Hold on. What's that? That's like the other ones. Just the belly we're seeing. The tail looks really crazy though. Yeah, who knows? I just saw the striping, that's why I got excited. Yeah. That was near the neck. You never know. It's all down to this last thing. Hold on, let me wipe up first. This is. This... I mean, nothing super crazy, well, but. This one has some skills on it too. Really? <laughs> yeah. That is odd. It was weird how when they came out. I mean, she was... Yeah, this was tough too. It's super odd. This one looks weird too. But not as weird as that second one. Yeah, but it's really... Banded. I don't know what's going on. Like, it's just... Yeah, it's not really alien heads. It's striped. Look. So I'm going to move this one up here. Is it 11 to 9 now? <laughs> well, we don't even know what's going yeah. on. So that's what I mean. Like, that's why it's like, we're racing. Don't even know what we're racing for. We don't... I, we could just call this one. We'll just... Yeah, no idea. Skin. But if we go back to this one here... That's insane. Can... Yeah, it's just... I don't know. We have to see it out, see the pattern. It's a lot more connected than all the other ones. No idea. I mean, this one's super banded. Yeah, hey, I mean, look at the super weird pattern. We're just gonna put these in, see how, how they they do, how they, when they come out. No idea. Like I said, something that I've had totally striped necks look a lot different. Bred them back in 2018. Uh, you know. Some of the babies in the clutch had the weird elongated neck, just, you know, so it is something that is passed on to the offspring. This is the first time we have, I think, one or two more pairings. Um, so, you know, we're working with it. Hopefully something cool, never know, no idea, but, you know, why not give it a try? It's fun. Um, you know, if you don't try, you never know, right? So. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll let you know, give you some more updates on this once it comes out, or at least if we understand what the heck's going on. And uh, yeah, don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, keep some comments coming in, and we will talk to you uh, next video.